Hello everyone, my name is Velters and welcome back to this game called Control. Now don't you forget, I have all the control over you. Okay, that's a lie, let's go back into the game. Okay, we're back in the game and apparently we have to speak to um, Emily and yes, again, I'm over on the right and not on the left, so yeah, it's still a bit weird, but you know what? whatever and taking a little bit of a break from 12 minutes only because the game has literally driven me to insanity so yeah we're back to this and um okay so we do have to speak to emily i don't remember where emily is though and the reason why um i kind of stopped playing control is because uh i used to be really hyped for this game like i used to really really like this game a lot but I don't know, the cinematics, I like, the sound design, I like, the gameplay though, um, it's a little bit too much, like, there's a lot of gameplay of course, but like, with the whole like, um, killing these sort of things, these sort of SCP like things, it just, I don't know, I kind of like it, but it, I don't know, it just feels like it's a little bit too much sometimes, so, I wait, hang on a minute. Can't I just use the um teleportation thing over here? Fast travel. So board countermeasures. This is where she wait, what? Exo Um I have absolutely no idea where, but um y no wait what? Wait, fast travel. Right, right, right. Um, wait, where can I? Central Executive, that's where Emily is. Yay, we seem to be here. Okay. Oh, shut up, man. Right, boardroom. Emily's in here. Yay, hello there, Emily. Yes, I did. Okay, cool, let's go. Sure. Okay. Screw it. Just tell her. I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother, Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created doorways to other places. Like a portal to like another dimension? Bad things happened. Came through. Okay. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something. A being. A being? What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways were gone. After that, your people came. Tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. Shame. I left them behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. He covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. Hmm. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. Mm -hmm. I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. Right. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Okay. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Please. Let's hope you two get along. Hmm? She's been with me ever since ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her Polaris. Okay. As in a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the hiss? 
If she got you in here in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. It seems to be that way. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Wait, when did she test the her? Database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes. Okay. One was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attack. So, Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my key card. The sector elevator will take you there. I didn't even get any of that. Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past. I am so close to something. Again, this it? stuff I like. The cinematics. Something's coming. I we guess... take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. If... And when time comes, I will come calling. Right. Directorial Override. Mission 3. <laughs> How many missions are there? Yeah, I think that I just get a little bit tired of the constant, like, talking. I don't mind talking, but when it's like, um, talking about stuff which we didn't even ask for, like, you know, rambling on and on and on, that's when, like, I shut off. So, when, it, when like, cinematics come on, I like it. It really does, like, draw me in. But, yeah, when people ramble on about stuff that we never even asked for, then it just gets tiring. And that's why sometimes I think this game lacks a little bit of that. They, the, the writing is okay. Just, yeah, they do ramble on a little bit about all of the science-y stuff. And it's sometimes really hard to follow. Plus the fact I don't actually know where I need to go now. It says I need to go to research parapsych... What? Wait, do I need to pick up something cool? Wait. Uh... Research... Okay. Um... Can I talk to you about something? Can I talk to you about where I need to go? Um... Control point... Uh, yeah, Darling's whereabouts. Sure. I keep finding traces of Darling, but still can't find him. Where could he be? But he's usually in his office in research, or one of his labs. Dr. Darling has quite a few, all around the Bureau. Could be hiding in any one of them. I check myself, but I don't have access to most of them. I mean, I guess we do. Sounds like I touched a nerve. He didn't let you into his labs? Not all of them, no. Some had volatile material. It's ridiculous. I mean, this whole place is volatile material. Hmm. Could have at least thought up a more convincing lie. I mean, how can I work without access to all the data possible? That's fair enough. All right, exit. See you soon. We have uh, done care, our Bob. conversation. So, um, research. We'll find Marshall in research, and maybe we'll even find Darling in research. Now, the only thing I have a problem with is uh, how the hell do we even find research, and uh, how do we even get us to research? Unless we're supposed to go through here? Wait, astral... what? Abilities? Uh... What is this? 10% to health. 10% to energy. Mana damage. Launch damage. Uh, sure, 10% of energy, maybe? Sure. Power... what? Okay. Uh, 10% health, sure, why not? Okay, cool. So, um, I have nine left. Uh, I mean, melee damage. We've got guns, so what kind of melee damage are we going to do? Right, oh, okay, it's saving. 
So, fine then, we'll do 20%. Additional weapon. What's it say? Thorn slot? Additional weapon, thorn slot. Okay then. Uh, health, sure, why not? Okie dokie. So, oh, additional personal mod slot. No, oh, okay, so it did say additional weapon form slot, right, okay, so I did get that one right. Okay, so I've got three more. We're not going to use them anymore. So, um, astral constructs, why not? Okay. Uh, weapon forms. Okay. Upgrade. Wait, is that it? Okay. Hope is I guess that's it. I legit have no idea how to even begin to find research unless director's office no it can't be this way surely you know what that's another thing that I don't really like about this game I know that you shouldn't really have games like hold your hand throughout the way but you need to have some idea of where you need to go and when you have no idea where to go then like you spend so much time, like, um, brain boxing how to get around the place, and I don't know. This episode is literally just me nitpicking what I like and what I don't like about control. And don't get me wrong, I do like control, just yeah, it does lack in some places, which really does lose me. Which, to be fair, is kind of uh, making this episode. Probably the last episode I'm gonna do of control because after this one I don't think I'm gonna record anymore because I am getting a little bit tired of this game. Another thing I hate about this game is that we've only got the map. Well, we've only got a map of the place that we are currently on. So if we go up or, um, yeah, if we go up somewhere then the map will obviously change. You can't change the map unless you're somewhere else. That's what. That's, that's another thing that I don't like about this game. Because other games like Resident Evil, Silent Hill, like they allow you to traverse the map yourself. But no, in this one, you have to traverse the map yourself through your character, going to different places to then traverse the map. It's, again, this episode is just going to be me nitpicking the entire time and I apologise for those who actually do like this game. If you do, then I'm happy for you. Just, um, I, I know that I'm repeating myself again. I do like how this game presents itself. I just am not a fan of the gameplay and also the constant talking of the people rambling on and on and on. Okay, so you can actually access different maps f through the fast travel, so that's good, I guess. So you can't see any uh, research facilities. Uh, yeah, you can't see any research facilities over here. So I've got to keep going then. Hmm. Control room. I have a feeling... Uh... I have a feeling I have no idea where to go. Ooh! Research sector! Yo! Finally found it. You know what? If I kept on going without finding this, I probably would have concluded the episode. Because, yeah, I had no idea where I was going, but this is now going somewhere, right? Please say. So, yeah. Don't know this place just yet, but yeah, we're now in the research... That's another thing that I love about this game. Those things that just pop up on the screen with that sudden bass moon. Absolutely love it. And also, I like this stuff as well. Like, um, it's like a uh, real life uh, live action footage combined inside of the game. For 24 years now, I've always been here. And, and through those years, We've made astonishing discoveries, mm -hmm. authored studies of grave importance, and in all this work, there is one thing we know, and that's how little we truly know. Rest assured, we're committed to keep pushing the known laws and borders of reality, and to make the Bureau proud. So, welcome. Assuming you have the necessary clearance, and, 
and do follow the safety protocols. Read the manual. Otherwise, bad things will happen. Manual? I would like to read the manual. Oh, here we go. Right. Okay, so these enemies can fly now, can they? Mr. Dar- Ooh, we found it. We actually found it, I think. Well, he is- He should be here. I've been feeling questions recently regarding HRAs. What are they for? Do you always need to wear them? What's the deal with the business anyway? Fuck. Despite what you may have heard, HRAs are not monitoring devices. They're not tracking your movements. Or listening to your conversations while you're wearing them. Do that regardless whether or not you're wearing an HRA. Oh, spying, are you? Think of them as a uh, as a uh, life preserver. Only instead of water, the the thing HRAs protect you from is um, classified. Huh. One day that classified, not water, might pour in, and you'll be glad you got a got an HRA keeping you afloat. And if you don't have an HRA, don't worry. It'll be uh, quick and painless. Much like an X-ray. Oh, how dare you fucking kid about that? Oh, you, oh, you're making even more. Is there even such a good idea to make more? Uh, I don't like the sound of HRAs, like being life preservers. It kind of reminds you of like a. A pacemaker or something. It keeps you sort of alive, but if it, if if you mess with the pacemaker, you will probably die yourself. So that's what it kind of reminds me of. Yep, it's official. These things can fly. You know what? Absolutely great. And of course, they can dodge bullets. How did I not see that coming? Right, I've got to go this way, don't I? Dimensional research. Oh. I don't mind to see. I don't mind seeing some dimensional risk. Ow, oh, I'm badly hurt. Yo. Fucking hell. Okay, I've got to deal with these people. Jesus Christ, i got this right around me. Alright. Let's go inside and see what we uncover. I do wonder what this dimensional research is all about. And we're fine. Well, we seem to be fine anyway. Hello? <laughs> I like that. Okay, that's another thing that I'm actually... Oh, that's actually cool. Oh, <laughs> that is cool. Jesus Christ, man. Uh, we're right back at this. Right. Ashtray maze. Oh god, this is going to be so amazing, isn't it? Okay, that's going a different way this time. Or is it? Yeah, it is. Oh... <laughs> My god. Oh, for f it keeps on bringing me back here, man. Yo. What is this? It's like it doesn't want me to advance. And now it's repeating. Yep, it's definitely repeating. Oh no. Wait, what is this anyway? Um. Um, okay, well, I did that for 
some reason. Oh my god. This is not good. I don't like this. I do not like this, no. I think this is what parapsychology is all about, maybe. Oh my god. Maybe if I just wreck the place. Maybe that will do something. Come on. What is this, man? What is this? How do you even possibly get past this? Oh my... Alright, we've got a picture. And we've got another picture. Whoa, hang on. Wait. Is this supposed to... Okie dokie. This... Another one? Destroy that. Well, there is... Oh, damn, okay. Maybe this will... Help? Destroy... I'm gonna destroy this. Come on. Destroy, man. There we go, so that's now down. I mean, this probably won't actually do anything, but you know what? Might as well give it out. Give it a try. Come on, come down. There we go. Oh. Wait. Was this given to me before? I don't remember. Astral Blip? Wait, so. Okay, so I've got clearance level 3, I think. So, Astral Blip? Right? Uh there's um not let's not even worry about that for now. And oh my god, we've got more pictures, man. Right. Destroy that and then destroy this one. Oh, I didn't even do much, man. Okay, yeah, that's good. I do feel like it's actually doing something though. Right? Come on, it has to be. No, it's not. It's doing absolutely nothing. And I thought... I don't know what to do then. Like... Obviously you're supposed to... I don't know. Unless... No, you can't go backward. I don't know, man. This one's really fucking me up. Like, I... I you know, I like this part. But I don't like how it's such a... Unless... No. Oh, come on. Yo. I thought that bringing this along would... No, man. It's not. Yo. I thought that bringing this along would actually help, but obviously not. Okay, you know what, I give up. I shouldn't be saying this, but I actually give up. <sighs> I wanted the game to give me another reason to come back, but it's failing to do so. So uh, yeah, this is gonna be my last video on this game and uh, yeah, to be fair, this is going to give me a chance to, like, focus on, you know, other playthroughs that I'm currently doing, so I'm glad that I'm actually leaving this playthrough behind, and I gave it one more chance, and it's failing to actually bring me back, and just, oh my god. I mean, maybe I'll come back at a later date, but, uh... Most likely, I'm just going to watch, like, somebody else play the game instead of me. So, uh, thank you so much for watching, everyone. If you did enjoy this video, leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody.